What's up you two? Leon here and today uh, Coming off the Schlocktober videos I did We're going straight into the the game of the month uh, Onechambara Oranges or Origin um, Yeah, let's go ahead and do it So what this is, is uh, a remake of the first two Onechambara games and uh, we're going to go through the differences and the history of this, this series because it's a series that I do I do really enjoy. But first of all, we're going to go into the language settings and actually change it to English. Um, I actually played this game in Japanese. And uh, they did some English voice acting for the localization. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the port itself as well. So, the port is a uh, is it your standard? Just get it on PC and make it work. Um, you got shadows on or off, outlines on or off, uh, and anisotropic filtering. I don't know how many times it's just on. Uh, Anti-aliasing uh, between 30 or 60 FPS. And that's pretty much it for like the the PC settings. Um, but so far the port has been mixed. For me, I had one crash throughout the whole thing, and the way to fix it was to um, instead of go straight to the next level, I would have to go back to the main menu and uh, continue from the main menu rather than uh, continuing off like a like a save or whatever. Um, but yeah, the, the port has been really messy uh, for a lot of people. If you're running RTX cards or an AMD card, this game doesn't run properly. Um, some people got it locked at like 32 FPS. And uh, it's just weird. The port for other people are weird, while the port for me has been uh, pretty pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's not terrible. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the story. I already played through the game a few times. The game isn't very long, and uh, we're gonna do uh, beast mode, which is the hardest, the hardest mode. Um, Berserk mode is more like a uh, like a weird mode where you're always in pretty much the the devil trigger of this game. So we're just gonna go with beast mode. Nice, a real challenge. All right, so we're gonna go in here. Um, we're gonna stick with some story stuff. So what? regular. This is what I always wear. Regular, and uh, we'll put in lay for the other one. We'll put regular costume as well. Let's go. Well, yeah. Through throughout the series, My I'm gonna try to Aya. just compare and contrast the. I use the sword between Z2 specifically, Z2 Chaos, which is also on Steam, and uh, just kind of compare those two games, this game and that game, uh, Z2. They devour the flesh of the living and run rampant throughout the world. Not that I give a damn about the world. Yeah, surprisingly, the Two English ago, voice acting in this game was is uh, is pretty fantastic. And my father and half -sister Saki vanished. I was very surprised when I turned it on so just to just to her. check it, and just to try day, it out with English was on, and it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. She said she'd help me find my family, if in exchange I would help her hunt the undead. A long time has passed since I started destroying the undead for Ray. But we still haven't found any solid leads. Just as I was almost ready to give up, exhausted by day after day of hunting, I suddenly received a message from Saki. So yeah, this is perfect for like people who haven't been into the series. It's it's origin, so uh, it's just one and two. 
If you don't know about the series, um, what is it, Tamsoft, I think is the developer, Tamsoft, they did a series back in early 2000s called the Simple Series, and pretty much what that was, was them making very cheap games and selling them on the PS2, like really cheap games. Aya, and, uh, die, won't you? For mom's sake. Saki. Hmm? Oh, here we go. We got some zombie stuff before I continue talking about the Tamsoft. Get out of my way. Please give me the strength. All right. So, uh, okay. Simple series. Simple series is pretty much uh, like these developers pretty much um, using a dartboard with a bunch of different genres and stuff and ideas on a board and just throwing it at that board. They're like, okay, what, what are we going to do today? Let's do a, a helicopter that takes pictures of a giant girl. That's the game. And uh, yeah, if you, if you look it up, there's a game that actually has that. So uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a weird series, and the reason, the pretty much the reason why it's called the Simple Series, is just to make these games. And uh, Onechambara was pretty much one of those ideas, and uh, it stuck. A lot of people really liked the, the series for one reason or another, and uh, it's neat. It's a neat series. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It knows what it is. It's just a lot of, a lot of fun. Developers knows what it is. Here we are with the with a remake of the first two games. Now I'm not super fami familiar with like the classic PS2 games or even like the Wii one. I think there was one on the 360 as well. I'm not the the biggest knowledge person on a uh, on this series, but the new games, especially Z2 Chaos and this one. They're just a lot of fun. Like if you haven't played them before and you just want like some dumb fun, they're they're really enjoyable to play. So uh, as you can see for right now, if you if you know about the series and seen some stuff about it, uh, Z2 and this game are like way different, like in terms of tone and just the way they look and even the way they play. They're kind of completely different. You can't really compare them too much. That's, uh, there's some si similarities which I'll get into, and uh, there's a, there's a lot of differences. I guess is the main thing. <sighs> Looks like that's the last of them. Your friendly informant right here. <clears throat> so you're at the graveyard. How's the quest to find your sister going? Well, just like you said. Man, that's some stilted dialogue. But her body's been taken away. Whoa, taken away? What for do you think? Not sure. Maybe Saki wants to bring her back to life. Are you kidding? That sounds like something out of a fantasy novel. I guess. Anyway, got anything for me? Oh, yeah! So, that little sister you're trying so hard to find? We may have a lead on her. What? Not far from where you are now. There's a hospital that was closed up years ago. Someone saw a girl in a school uniform in there. Got it. I'll head right over. I knew you'd be up for it, Aya. Man, the dialogue is kind of like... Uh, the, like, the voice acting is, is fine. It's just the dialogue, how they Much better. implement it. It's just so, super weird. I know they're trying to fill in space for the Japanese uh, ones, but yeah, it's still weird. Alright, so the biggest difference between Z2 and uh, this game is more simplicity. 
They really wanted to go back to the game's roots, make it a lot more grounded than Z2. Um, but also a lot more polished. Like there's a more more of a focus rather than like this mess of ideas. If you haven't seen my Schlocktober video on uh, Z2, you can kind of go watch it. I just briefly summarize like the the craziness of uh, of Z2. I mean the the name is perfect. Z2 chaos. It's a chaos of mechanics. Also with the series before this one, um, graphics wise weren't like the main, really the main focus of it, right? The, the main character, characters look fine, but still has like that kind of PS2 looking, I, I don't know how, how the aesthetic is, I guess it's PS2 aesthetic, um, very like low, low poly environments, low low resolution textures while the model the character models are fine they were still very ps2 era models almost but uh, i guess that's the charm of the, the original game but yeah the the change in art direction in uh, in origins is just fantastic i think i just think this is the way this ser series should go forward is kind of look appealing rather than look very outdated. I don't know if it was like a style they were going for, kind of like the EDF series, where they don't really focus on the the graphics, pretty much reuse everything in their games, but it has that charm. Alright, so with the yeah EDF series, like their, their focus isn't graphics, it's just having like a very specific look. I think that's the reason why they don't really change their the graphical style is just it's kind of like a signature for them while with uh, One Chambara it didn't really work in my opinion I think you needed to have some some sort of style to go with the crazy action and over the top things about it and uh, changing to an anime style I think works in its favor really well in its favor Alright, so first boss already, second level. Yeah, I'd much rather have developers work on like a style so it doesn't look outdated in like a few years. I, f I feel like this game will still look good after a few few years and just because it has a defined style. All right, so let's just talk about the general the general gameplay of this series. Um, Onichambara is pretty much like a your typical hack and slash with like one one gimmick, one new gimmick, and that gimmick is uh, this like cool combination. I think is what it's called. And uh, what cool combination is? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Okay, let's not try parrying. <laughs> what cool combination is, um, you see this bar at the bottom? If I press the attack button rhythm rhythmically in this, uh, in this pattern, I get a cool combination. And that pretty much makes my attacks go faster, it does more damage, and uh, I get a, a neat ender if I do the whole combo. Like a really damaging ender. I died. Okay, this is this is a lot harder to do when you're talking about stuff. It's a lot harder to do when you're talking and trying to explain stuff. So just in general, you want to get cool combinations as much as possible. Oh my god, I'm, I gotta do it way earlier. Okay. Wait, do I got? Do we got rangs on these characters? I do got rangs on these characters. Okay. Arch undead man on the rampage in the area. He overswings a lot and his attacks offer openings, but be careful. He's powerful. Yeah, J just pretty much you want cool combinations all the time. And the mechanics very re reminiscent of uh, 
PSO? PSO Online's attack systems? Except if you mess up at any time during this like uh, thing, during the combo, uh, you would have to restart your combo over if you want the cool combination again. You can you can still like just mash it, but it's you should always try to go for cool combination just because the damage is a lot better, it's quicker, and I think the the timing window to cancel stuff is a lot easier. Okay, I got a parry. It's fine. That's sick, right? That's pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Here it comes. Yes. Now we're having fun. Those of the people bloodline are even scarier than the undead. They really are fascinating. Alright, so other mechanics um, uh, is the blood mechanic. So what blood does, um, it actually just makes your weapon weaker. So if you see on the left side where my two weapons are, if that bar fills up all the way, it makes my attacks way weaker than it is. And also makes the, the hit stop whenever I hit enemies a lot longer as well. So you pretty much have to reload. It's called reload, I think. Where you just wipe the blood off and you can you can combo into it too to uh to continue your cool combination if you're like in the middle of one so you still have like options outside of it it's just an extra thing to worry about pretty much instead of just like mindlessly hacking and slashing and dying like me Wow, she died! Does she not like have any defense? Is that like the character? Yeah, this game is a lot harder when you're talking over it. Cause um, I was gonna make a... Make a comment that this game is really easy. But we're playing on Berserk mode, so it's really hard. While you talk. Yeah, uh, you, you always want to keep your blade as clean as possible for like the... For, for, sh for stuff. I can suck at this game. Maybe I should just shut up and play. I was gonna show my skills in this game, but I'm just dying now. Alright, so a returning mechanic from Z2 Chaos, or maybe just Z2, I'm not super familiar with the other games, but at least Z2, um, is the super meter. So you gain super just by hitting things, by dodging and stuff. You can see on the lower left hand corner where my health bar is, I get like super meter. And you can press super like it's a Muso game. And uh, it does damage, and it looks really cool. Um, I don't want to explain Lei too much because she's like a like a weird character. She's a very unique com character compared to uh, Aya and Saki, the other character. But yeah, but she has her own like blood stuff. So here, right here in the story, we're talking about Berserk mode, and uh, I'll let it I'll let it activate during the cutscene, right? So what Berserk mode is, uh, it's pretty much Devil Trigger. It's a Devil Trigger that you can't activate on your own terms. It just activates 
when you've killed too many characters. Okay. I think it's called stain. Like a blood stain. And then uh <laughs> then we go into true devil trigger, which is called the uh, ecstasy, I think. Which is introduced in Z2. And uh it's like a second second stage devil trigger pretty much. It makes you a lot stronger, uh, but you lose health slowly, but you also have lifesteal, so I don't know, it's a, it's a weird mechanic. Don't ask me about these mechanics. Okay, let me just kill this boss before I start explaining more mechanics, or like differences and stuff, because I'm tired of losing to this guy. Just keep supering him. Okay, I did it. Oh no, I supered again. Easy peasy. I decided. It's finished, Ray. Woof! Well done. Oh, by the way, I uh, I just installed a shop app on your device. You can use it to order items at any time. Of course, that'll cost money, though. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> You're welcome. She said Ray. Her name is like Lay in this game. I don't know. Some people are like making this big, weird stuff about this character that she's like Ray in the old game. I don't know. I've never played the old game, so I can't. I don't. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, so next mission. So, yep, yeah, uh, this is my first time playing on this difficulty, so I, I didn't know the damage was so high. It's ridiculous it's compared to the other difficulties. But yeah, um, one another returning mechanic from Z2 is character switching. As you can see, is switching between like Aya and Lei. A goddess statue. Aya, are you religious? Um, in Z2, it was four characters that you get to switch between, really. so uh, it's a lot less in that sense. Like this. But again, this game is a lot more focused and wants to be uh, a lot less mechanically bloated than Z2, which I personally think is very bloated, a bloated experience, but it's also very open, open-ended in its own way. Um, Z2 Chaos was also like in general just like a game where you want to be in the air a lot while uh, in in this game a lot of the combos keep you grounded there's ways to go into like air juggles like that but there, it's a lot less of a uh, of something that you want because not every not every enemy can just be easily air juggled and I think air juggles do they're just not that oh, you must be the that good <laughs> I guess it's the, the best thing I can do air juggle see sometimes they don't get air juggle you get like one character in the air in the earth another thing is the the different combo routes aren't as uh, there aren't as many in this game as there were in Z2 Chaos. I can actually just show you the move list as well. So if we go in the move list uh, for for Aya, her single sword, she has the just X combo, Y combo. Uh, from main combo, you can do this. Uh, flash combo from knife combo this one you can go to a flash combo uh, leg sweep to cleave kick up which is the the air combo uh, wall running while running in the air and then the helm split and that's pretty much it for the one-handed sword and pretty much all the weapons they only have like the same ideas to them 
A main combo to the Y. The Y. Triangle to X. Back Y to X. Up Y for a launcher. They're all the same. Um, there's no delay combo. There's no like uh, 360 into triangle or whatever. Uh, a lot of the combo... The combo things from Z2 Chaos are taken out. And uh, I, I do kind of see that as like a bad thing in terms of variety and stuff. Um, it, it does suck that a lot of those cooler cooler looking combos and ideas from Z2 Chaos aren't in this game. And I think that's because of the other games that Tamsoft have created in between this game and Z2 Chaos. And uh, again, if you don't know Tamsoft, they did make the San Juan Kagura games as well. They helped develop the more spin-off games rather than the main series, but they did develop like Shinobi Versus and stuff like that. So I guess a lot of those those games helped design or have like a foundation for Origins. I guess I just do it because I want to. This isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad idea to follow up on those games. Yeah. I get it. That makes sense. We've never known a world without the undead in it. Seems like the perfect place for people like you and me. Yeah, I can I can see the reason why like a lot of people would be disappointed in Origins compared to Z2. They're like, oh man, I wanted more of like a Devil May Cry ish type of game. Instead of more of a Muso style of game. I do see this game more of like a Muso-ish game rather than uh, Z2 being more of like a character action game. It's just the amount of options you get aren't as, as cool I guess. But that doesn't make this game bad. I actually really have been enjoying this game. Another thing about the visual style, it's a lot clearer than uh, Z2. Things are a lot easier to see. Uh, tells are a lot more clear. There's like a, if you haven't noticed already, there's like a tell for whenever a ranged attack is coming. There's like a, a flash and a sound. And uh, these guys will, will help display that actually. Let's see if I can get a parry. See they have like a, like a very clear tell, like a noise and it just helps with the timing and uh, maybe off-screen stuff. If they're shooting off-screen. Yeah, just a lot of the designs from uh, the design mechanics or whatever from uh, Setrun Kagura. If you if you haven't played Burst Renewal, there's like a tell system in there where it like tells whenever an enemy is gonna attack. There's like this big radius that you'd see on the floor. Um, it kind of carried on to this game, but a, a lot less intrusive. It's not like just in your face about it. It's a neat way of uh, of doing tells for enemies. Oh, here's another big change from uh, from Z2 is that there's a leveling system. So you level up your characters and stuff. Um, and this system makes the game, in my opinion, really easy. Uh, normal and hard were so, so easy that I thought Berserk mode or whatever this mode is called. I is it Berserk? I think it's Berserk. To it won't be easy. Uh, I thought this was going to be a very, like a cakewalk. That first boss, 
I guess I wasn't paying att too much attention. That first boss is really killing, killing me. So he's a traditional Mudman mud from the series. If you don't know about these guys, you can't kill them normally without a parry. For those, for you guys who are fans of Onechambara, we got the mud man. Another thing I'm noticing is uh, the blood game in Berserk mode. I feel like it's a lot more than easy and or normal and hard. I always have to reload a lot more often. Also with these medmen, you get super them. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with pairing you. Well, I'll pair you anyway. So here's a new mechanic, cool finishes. If an enemy is stunned, you get like a cool finish. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I've already looked at it before, but another returning mechanic. Mechanic. Is, uh, is rings and stuff, so equipment. If we go in here. Um, right now I have the technique ring, ring of training, and the ring of flight. Uh, what this ring does, it's easier to do cool combinations. Uh, ring of training, what does the ring of training do again? Uh, more money, ring of flight. Uh, easier dodge timing. So that's pretty much the rings I have on these characters. But yeah, there's a there's like a store where you can look at all the rings that they give you. Pretty neat. Yeah, I guess Berserk mode is just like the the way to play it after uh, everything. Uh, normal. Normal and uh, hard were just way too easy. There's just I was kind of afraid that there wasn't going to be like any difficulty afterwards. But I'm kind of glad there's like there's some difficulty here. Yeah, and when you when you compare that to Z2, Z2 is way way crazier in terms of like difficulty and its mechanics. I guess there's a lot more longevity in that game. I do feel like there's more replay value in Z2, but uh, that game is real messy. I think with a little bit more polish, that game could be like really special. But it's just a fun game to play every once in a while. We did a genocide. Care of them all. Nice work. Apparently, that hospital was run by an organization known as Ouroboros. They were doing some kind of unethical research, and an accident destroyed the place. Some Resident Evil stuff happening. Ouroboros. Whoa, is that why there are so many undead here? Global saturation. Well, it's been a while, so I guess anything could have happened since then, right? <laughs> Yeah, um, if you couldn't tell, the, these levels are super short, and I think that's because um, the original game had the same same thing. Like they were really following the the first game's mission structure, I guess. Um, so let's go into the things that I don't really like too much in this game, and the first one it has got to be the levels. The levels are like straight lines. There's not even like collectibles really. <laughs> the whole game you just go in a straight line no, you must be Aya. it's worse than Final Fantasy 13 yeah surprise sissy man it's like a it's like a real dove those lip syncing doves, man. Like, 
So here's uh, another like character. She was also in the uh, in Z2 Chaos. Her and her sister. I'm not sure about the full story about this character. But sure. Oh, stop hitting me. Yeah, I'm afraid to parry. The parry timing in this game is very small. So one thing they added was uh, was parrying for every character. I think the only character in Z2 Chaos who can parry was, uh, was Saki. She's like the only character who can actually parry. Um, but in this game, all characters can parry. And uh, what it mainly does, it, it gives you... It gives the enemies more stun. Like, I think it's an instant stun usually for the regular enemies. Oh yeah. Yeah, air combo. That's one of the coolest things you could do in this game is air combo boss. I also love that they kept the being able to switch during animations in uh, in Z2. You can just switch whenever you feel like. It's always a really neat feature. Oh, I stopped her. Let's get some blood. So I guess I can talk about how Lei works. Lei, um, what she does is uh, she has a knife thing that she uses, right? And uh, she wants to get blood. So she, whenever she reloads, she puts it in her gun. She has like a blood gun. It does a bajillion damage. And it looks really neat too. Sounded like she was going to look for her sissy. Really? Good. That means you can take them both out at the same time. It's a weird localization, sissy, instead of like sister or older sister. It's not terrible. It's a different way of doing that, but it's just weird. Still making our way through I, the first the first game. Why would you say that? You killed all the others right away. When have you ever let one escape? Was it because she reminded you of your little sister? Of course not. Don't be silly. I guess uh, if you were a really big fan of Z2 Chaos, like you wanted more of that specific kind of gameplay mechanics and stuff, this could be a b pretty big disappointment. I already saw a lot of people who were pretty disappointed with how uh, how Origin was in comparison. But I do feel like it was a better, like a step in the right direction because I still think that game, as much as I do like it, that that game had way too much stuff going on. It really needed to like st take a step back and kind of remember what the series was. So this is perfect, in my opinion. I think this game does what does what it does very well. Let's see. She went to find her sissy, right? Try going up to the roof. Kind of hope this game does well enough to get another another sequel. Um, it'd be nice to have both styles, like have a have a game, have a sequel to like Z2, where it's in the style of like 
regular or classic Onechimbara with like the PS2 graphics and all. And uh, have like a remake series where it's just like, oh yeah, it'll go through all the other games, like 3 and 4. I don't know what the other games were in this series. But those other games and have like an updated style to them like this. Be really neat. But of course I think that's a lot to ask. This is a series that doesn't have like a huge fan base. It's even smaller than like Senra and Kagura's fan base, I think. But uh, hopefully this game sells it enough to get a sequel to. Really like that. While the building itself is really severely damaged, can you climb up the rubble? Maybe. Uh, I'll look fine. around. Oh, kill him. Damn it. Keep pressing the wrong button for lockdown. She said she was under orders, right? Maybe somebody is controlling the undead. We're all going. Ah, sounds exactly like a final boss. Oh, yeah, Don't another change uh, from Z2 is that there's only one super for each character. So I can't, like, or two supers. Two supers for each character. And uh, in uh, Z2, it was three, three supers for every character. And there's four characters in that game. So uh, one, one mechanic in this game that really reminds me of like Bayonetta is dodging and being able to continue your combo. I think really it was called stuff. Wicked Weave in Bayonetta or something. It's about time. Oh, we're on boss. Okay. <laughs> Man, this this game goes by fast. It's not a very long game. Man, we got those. It's an those. older sister's duty to protect her younger sister. So let me give you. Sissy, that's her. She's the one. That's Aya. Got those weird yes, dub know, stuff. If we bring her it's like watching a. She'll be a Japanese or uh, English dub Japanese know, movie. Quiet. <clears throat> it's kind of perfect for what it is, right? It's like watching a Japanese so, B movie yeah. but dubbed. We'll be taking your heart. Yeah, we're going to take it. <sighs> <sighs> so yeah, in this game Saki. just like with uh else with the loading. Yeah. You can dodge and still be able to continue your combo. Ray, do you have any info on her? Right now, all I have is her name. I'll keep looking though. Why is she your son? She was doing the same thing a little while ago too. Mumbling to herself. Try to kill uh, this this problem over here. How about you keep your mouth shut? Oh man, I messed up the parry. I wanted to be cool. Yeah, the, the parry timing is so strict in this game. It's like... I would assume it's like three frames or something. It's really, really strict. There's a ring to make parry timing easier, but it makes my defense go down. So I don't know if it's worth it. Fully loaded. Some uh, and then most stuff's happening. I don't know, I've never played Final Fantasy fourteen, but this is what I feel <laughs> feel like that game is. Oh my god, I switched. Okay. There you go. Let's kill these sisters. Come on, come kill us. Oh, 
Oh wait, she's doing a super. Wait. Just keep dodging. <laughs> Father taught me this. Oh my god, I was dodging. We're all going down. No, I wanted a super. I don't have super. There we go. Oh, we got some risque shots. Anzu. Well, I can save you at least. Anzu. I need you to survive. Wait, how did we come back to life in the other games if you kill him in the, in the earlier game? I told you. It's an older sister's duty to protect her younger sister. You're a formidable opponent. I never thought I'd be pushed this far by another the baneful bloodline. You have baneful blood Yeah, the too. baneful bloodline. too much. I won't give up. Anzu and I will be together, just like we were before. And no one will stop us! I swear, I'll protect you, Anzu! Anzu! My precious sister! I must be with you! She really cares a lot about her sister. right. We did it. Yeah, boss fights are pretty pretty fun in this game. Uh, I'm trying to think Any if I dislike words. a boss in this game, but I don't think I dislike this a boss. Life. Maybe there's one later on, but my mistress, I like all the boss fights so far. I'm happy to give it up for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dub. I was able to protect. <laughs> All for her little sister, huh? You did great. I'll pick it up. Just leave it there. Ray, you're going to bury her? Bury? Um, yeah. Something like that. Good. Thanks, Ray. She says Ray. It says <laughs> lay on the thing. Anything okay, I don't, I, that's a localization thing, right? Unless it's Ray. I don't know. I don't know the lore. You think I know the lore? Hell no. I do like how there's positives and negatives to all like the weapons and stuff. Like uh, the single sword is pretty, pretty decent, but her, the super is like what you use the the single sword for. It's a very good super. While the the dual swords. They're they're very good at just hitting a bunch of things like AOE damage and stuff. I should show you all the combos instead of just go for like the easy X combo. Yeah, so far I'm not sure about the the different combo routes or like the the reasons why you'd go for different ones besides variety. So here's a here's a new enemy. This is probably like my least favorite enemy type in this game. It's just red enemies. All they do is that they can't get stopped by your attacks. That's it. They have like infinite super armor. That's the enemy. Okay, and there's there's also a mechanic with the reload. If you're if you're attacking and you reload reload during an attack, it it wipes off less blood, but if you just do it raw, it'll take off all the blood, but you can't cancel it into anything. So there's like a 
you have to like know when to reload, do like a full reload or not. Ten. Let's see uh, our other tank. Lay's other supers are rocket launchers. Neat. Uh, no. Looks like the elevator took me to the basement. Wow, you really are not good with machines, are wow. you, Aya? I'm sure I pressed the right button. Uh, there are dead women here. Bodies? Are they nurses? No. They're wearing black clothes. Their hair is white. <laughs> Ray, is this funny to you? How did that screw up happen, I wonder? <laughs> I really wish I could have seen it. You're interested in seeing the dead body? Very of interested. <sighs> Sicko. Man, is that is that like a these marks? Port problem? Could it be? Is somebody up ahead? Maybe the the localization, they really just wanted to get it out, right? But uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really notice it because I didn't play the whole thing in English. I just played like some some of it in English, and I switched it back. But, yeah, that's weird. That's really really weird. It's my father. Wait, what? Tsubaki. Father? How? Tsubaki, my wife. Where did you go? Ah, oh, yes. It was that damned woman. She took you away. Took mother? No, maybe it was you. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who killed my wife. What? <laughs> finally. I will finally avenge you, Subaki. Oh no, we gotta kill the Tosan. How dare you so here's the best Spocky. fight in the game. Is this guy. I, d I feel like this boss is like the best fight in the whole game. And you can do some sick shit. Whoa, you missed. Oh, that's gonna do damage. Man, my, I can't see it. I'm trying to see the... The blade. Because the parry is really cool. Alright, so we have, uh, this is where you're supposed to get this mode. Let's go crazy on it. Yeah, I guess on this mode, they don't get, like, he doesn't get, uh, stunned easy. When, when you're in this mode, you can kind of just go crazy. You just go... You just go insane. You just like, yeah, just press buttons. Yeah, kill him. Aya, is that you? Damn, what have I... Father, where have you been all this time? 
I'm so sorry. Father. Stay back. Uh. <sighs> My baneful blood could go berserk again at any time. Aya, uh, I hate to do this to you, but please understand. Please understand. I've been chasing after the one who killed Tsubaki all this time. And I've finally found her. A woman named Ava, with the same baneful bloodline as us, killed Tsubaki. She is using power from Tsubaki's heart to control Saki. Control her? Saki thinks she can bring Tsubaki back to life with a ceremony using a baneful heart. And that's why she plans on fighting you and me. To obtain a heart. I see. Aya, could you please stop Saki? Stop your little sister. Me? You want me to stop her? You want me to stop somebody who's trying to kill me? Without killing them? <laughs> please. These are some good, good lines. I'm not telling you this before. <laughs> You and Saki are actually true sisters. Full sisters by blood. What? How? And why are you telling me this now? There's a baneful tradition of training sisters to fight each other. The survivor inherits all. That's why Tsubaki and I pretended you weren't full sisters. To protect you. I... I... People don't come back to life once they've died. Except as flesh-eating monsters. <laughs> I don't want to see Tsubaki like that. I don't know what to believe. I can't promise I can stop Saki without killing her, but... I'll go look for her. And you've got things you need to do too, right, Father? I'm sorry. Father! <sighs> Hurry up and go, Aya. Remember, I'm always thinking of the two of you.